Hi, my name is John Shipp and I'm a security engineer for the National Center for Supercomputing Applications at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. Today I am going to show you a few tips and tricks that can be used to enhance your bro log mining experience. For this tutorial I'll be working with conlog and notice log. I extracted these two files from a production bro server. The first tip I want to share is how to properly use the default pin separator in a bro log file which is the tab character. We can see this value by looking at the first line of the format header block from a bro log file. See how the character is shown in hexadecimal? We can convert it to see that it is actually the tab character. You might be asking yourself why it is important to know the field separation character, because most queries are done using simple grep or awk. But consider the difference between the two queries trying to print the same notice message located in the 12th field or column of the log file. Now here is the second. The notice message is of type string, which means it can contain white space as if it were in a sentence. Awk and many other programs in the Unix toolset use the white space separator by default, which is why the first query only printed the IP address in the field rather than the entire notice message. It's good practice when querying these kinds of logs to always specify the field separator. Let's face it, bro logs are packed with lots of information, and sometimes it doesn't display so well like when your terminal is too small or you have a low screen resolution. We've all experienced the wrap lines that make it difficult to follow the information. Fortunately, the less pager has a useful option that alleviates this inconvenience by allowing us to scroll horizontally. Let's demonstrate. Here's plain less without horizontal scrolling. As you can see, the line wraps to the next row, which makes it difficult to read. Let's specify the capital dash S option to enable horizontal scrolling. Now we can scroll horizontally with the left and right arrow keys. The display is that much better. ProCut is a shell script wrapper for awk or gawk included with bro that makes parsing logs easier. It does this by letting you specify fields to print by name, perform timestamp conversion, and can print or omit the header block. There are other features you can explore in the documentation. Let's review a few of these options. We will be using conlog for this demonstration. First, I'll print the field list from the header block to see the available options. I'm printing this as a list so it is easier to read. Let's print the timestamp plus the 5 tuple for each connection. Now we'll do the same, except we'll convert the timestamp to human readable format by adding the dash D option. Make sure Gawk is installed because it provides a string format time function required for BroCut to do the conversion. Thanks for watching our presentation on bro log parsing tips and tricks. I hope these examples make it a little easier for you to manage your bro logs. To learn more about bro, you can check out the website at bro.org, follow them on Twitter at bro underscore IDS, or check out more talks and presentations on their YouTube channel by searching for bro project.